Hey there, I'm Andrew with MS Power User. Today we're taking a look at the Windows 10 Creators update, which brings in plenty of welcome changes and improvements all over the operating system. So let's get started. While the start menu in the Windows 10 Creators update might seem the same at first glance, you can now create folders, just like on Windows 10 Mobile. Folders can be moved around and resized just like live tiles, even if adding items to them can be a little finicky at the moment. Many will agree that these are a pretty essential improvement for Windows 10 and they open up plenty of new ways to customize your start menu, or start screen, if that's your thing. Folders are also pretty great when used alongside a tile-only start menu, which is now an option in Windows 10. To make it so only tiles show up on your start menu, head to the Personalization section in the Settings app, go to Start, and set Show App List in the Start menu to Off. You'll still be able to reach the App List by simply clicking the App List button in your hamburger menu, and everything will be just as you left it. All of your most used apps will still be there, and you'll have a much cleaner interface when you open the start menu every single time. The start menu isn't the only area to get a facelift when it comes to customization. While all of the options you're used to, like transparency, where colors appear, and options to pick a light or dark theme for apps are still available, there's two huge changes brought to the colors section in settings, recent colors and custom colors. These are both exactly what they sound like, and custom colors is a returning and much improved option from every other Windows release since Vista. While it didn't ship in the original release of Windows 10, the preview and comparison sections are absolutely welcome improvements. They almost make waiting a year and a half for it worth it. It's another step in the creator's update that frees up customization even more and hands the user even more control over how Windows looks for them. After playing around with custom settings for a while, it becomes obvious that the colors you can pick on your own are vastly superior to the default ones we've been stuck with up until now. If you want to save your favorite combos of custom colors, wallpapers, and even sounds or mouse cursors, the themes system has gotten a massive overhaul. It now has a modern design which can be found in the settings app instead of the control panel, and you can even get new themes in the Windows Store. You can head to the themes section in the store by selecting the option in the settings app, much like finding new edge extensions through its settings panel, and download all sorts of themes from there. Microsoft used to distribute themes on the Windows website during the Windows 8 era, and this is a significantly better replacement. After picking out the themes you want from the store and installing them, just head back to the settings app to apply them. It's that easy. Another area with some interesting changes is Microsoft Edge. A tab preview button was shown off during the official unveiling back in 2015, and after tab previews themselves launched in a previous update, it's finally here. The purpose is simple. Click the button to see previews of all of your tabs at once. Additionally, there's now the ability to set all of your currently open tabs aside. This lets you take all open tabs and instantly close them, but you'll be able to restore all of them from a special menu. This can be pretty handy if you're doing some research on Wikipedia, for example, and want to save everything you're currently reading for a future time, without adding another 20 pages to your favorites. Additionally, Edge can now open EPUB books, just like it's able to open PDFs. You can also find and purchase books in the Windows Store, and then open your book library from within Edge itself. It might seem a bit strange to include this, but Edge has been an excellent PDF reader for quite some time now anyways. Another big part of the Windows 10 Creators update is Mixed Reality, which was previously known as Windows Holographic. Microsoft is teaming up with OEMs to create affordable headsets designed for Mixed Reality, and it's already possible to play around with it, even if you don't have a VR headset. It's possible to just launch and experiment with all sorts of UWP apps in the Mixed Reality portal in a way that's almost identical to HoloLens, just without the augmented reality part or the price tag. Some people might be surprised to find out that gaming is another huge part of the Windows 10 Creators update. After purchasing the video game streaming service Beam last year, Microsoft set out to build it into both the Xbox One and Windows 10 fairly quickly. On Windows 10 PCs, this is handled through the game bar, which you can open by pushing the Windows key and G at the same time, or by using the guide button on your Xbox controller if you happen to have one attached. While not all full screen games are supported by the game bar yet, the list of available ones keeps growing, and windowed, or UWP games, will work without any waiting for an update at all. Another fairly interesting feature that's related to gaming is Game Mode. Game Mode dedicates more of your PC's resources to games when they're running, and it's similar to the tech used in the Xbox One to squeeze out every single frame per second it can. While UWP games will end up gaining the most from this, any game will work with it, even if it happens to be on Valve's own Steam platform or completely DRM-free. A small but welcome addition in the creator's update is Nightlight, which makes it easier to use your PC at night by reducing blue light emission. 
While we can't show it in recording, it can be accessed from both the Settings app and the Action Center, and you can even schedule it in Settings. Last but certainly not least, Paint 3D is the successor to a program that a lot of people seem to love to hate. It's given up on being a serious but light image editor, and instead is designed as more of a fun app that people will end up using to work on 3D objects. Those 3D objects will eventually end up being used in Windows Mixed Reality or viewed in the all-new View 3D Preview app. It's undeniably cool when it comes to creating some neat new wallpapers with 3D objects, too. That's it for this video, but you can check out more coverage about the Windows 10 Creators update and our full review on our website, mspoweruser.com. You can also find the site on Twitter, at mspoweruser.